Welcome back, my friends. Steve Bot Tom here. How's it going, guys? Welcome to episode 20 of our Elspeth playthrough. Holy shit, we have a lot of schematics. We need to use that stuff. Oh my gosh, I just realized that. So yeah, welcome, guys. Hello, hello. I got Izzy next to me on this Sunday morning. Say hi, Izzy. Nope, she's fixated on a bird. Okay, well, we tried. All right, so today, I know last episode we named uh, Saving Private Katarin, and to some extent that is true, but Perhaps even more so, it's going to be true today. Uh, because Prague's been recently taken by Cheriflesh, uh, one of Throt's armies, and it's going to be putting a lot of pressure on Kislev. I think Kislev will be able to hold against a single army of Skaven. Zreen is here with the half stack of some pretty good stuff, as we noted yesterday. And Kislev itself has a pretty good substantial garrison. Um, Elspeth's going to be heading up north. We need to help her hold that, of course. Uh, as well as take back uh, what was Kislev's. Uh, it's, oh, it's green territory? Or it's red territory to us? Oh my god. I just realized that. Oh no. Well, it's not red to Kislev. Uh, they'll be, be able to at least take it. We need to get Aragrad back into the hands of Kislev as well. Aragrad and Prague are both very important settlements to Kislev, as we know. Um, and that would help. Uh, it's essentially, you can look at, you can look at uh, Kislev as to like being composed of three main city states, right? You have Kislev, you have Prague, and you have Erengrad. And right now, Katarn's only got one of those three, so we need to help her reestablish her power uh, and proliferate and do well. All right, so let's see. Let's take a look at this army. This is our third army. I think we need to get rid of some of our front line here and get some more ranged units. So I'm going to get rid of two flagellants and snag two crossbows. Yep, just to give a bit more oomph, range oomph to this army. That's going to give us five crossbows. Yeah, that should do it. And then room for two heroes. Let's grab those heroes while we're here. Let's grab a warrior priest, um, weapon master, or tough. Hmm. Let's grab tough. Leonard. Leonard, he's tough. I like the melee defense. We need warrior priest to be tanky. All right, so that, and let's grab a wizard. We need a wizard for sure. Oh, I don't have a battle wizard here. Uh, do we have a, the dwarf? No, where are we getting our battle wizards from? Do we even have any? I don't think we have any battle wizards. No, we don't. We don't have any battle wizards. That's an issue. This is an issue. <laughs> this is an issue. Um, I think we did, but we lost the dwarf. I think that's what happened. I can't quite recall. It's It's been a while. We're in episode 20. Um... Yeah, we need to, let's see, I'm tempted to cancel this in place of the warrior, uh, not warrior priest, but the wizard, school of magic. Should we do that? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, we need some warrior priests in here. No, I keep saying warrior priests. We need some battle wizards. We need some battle wizards. All right. Flensburg, what do you got? Let's get rid of that. The moot. Ah, oh, man, having the changeling here is a bit scary. Because he's he's just here creeping. I don't know how the control's going up. He's sitting here raiding. Um, interesting. Oh, control plus four. It's from this building here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Lowering corruption by four as well. So, yeah, it's actually quite stable with that building. The food there is apparently really good. All right, let's see. We could build another uh, wizard college here for another battle wizard. I think we should. Let's get that up. And yeah, let's get that up for more trade resources. How much are we making from trade while we're... On the topic of trade, 3,500, not bad. Okay. Uh, all right, all right. Elspeth has moved this turn. Has Griswold? Yes, Griswold moved. Griswold's task is to go south and finish off the uh, haggard uh, ogres, Scrag, more specifically, who's been a terror to our empire so far this campaign. Just an absolute terror. Has Philip moved? Philip. Philip moved. Philip's the scout. It's a trusty scout. We could actually send him down through this path, too. But uh, now I want him to work ahead of where Griswold's going to be moving. And that's through this valleyway here. So let's do that. Yeah, it's moving order. Yeah, go that way. Go that way. Yeah. Over the bridge. Flintsburg, we could build up. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Actually, we could grab... Grab an engineer. How much artillery do we have in this army? Three pieces? Yeah, three pieces. Uh, engineers are really good. We have capacity for another one. Ooh, disciplined. Vasily. Yeah. Engineer. Oh, yeah, Vasily. There we go. Disciplined. Can't go wrong with that. All right. Discipline's not as good as it used to be in game one and two, but it's still pretty decent. It's still pretty good. But it has been since nerfed. 
in game three. All right, some more melee defense for you. All right, I think that's about it for this turn. Let's check diplomacy. Carl, how you doing? Carl's got 17 settlements. He's ranked six. He's doing pretty well for himself. He's in three wars. Um, okay, he's also fighting Scrag. That's right, we pulled him into war against Scrag. He hasn't really helped in that sense, though. He's fighting Azazel and Wolfric. Okay. You can ask him to fight Throt. Let's see. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes. He's... Oh, yeah. That was huge. I actually did not expect him to join. But now he's going to help put pressure on Throt with us. So that's huge. Van Mulder is going to see the full force of the Empire thrown at him. Well, hopefully. That's, you know, in theory. If all works well. All right. So we don't need to get these growth balloons up. We'll leave them at tier 2. That's fine. All right. I think that's about it. Moving on. 364. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. We're starting a new campaign tomorrow. It's going to be Ica Claw here on Monday for the live stream. Just a little heads up. Thumbnails being made as we speak by Spencer, our channel artist. Does a great job. He works hard. All right. Let's implant these guys into the army. Go. Okay, helmet, helmet's ready to move, ready to boogie. Where should we send him? Um, he could help fight uh, the, the scaling. Is this scaling? It's a scaling, right? Yeah. Could help expunge scaling out of the Empire. I think I might do that. It's either that or we send him up to help Katarin out. If Katarin needs it. Not Katarin. Well, yeah, Katarin and Elspeth, the two of them, the two, the two ladies fighting against Throt. Side by side. All right, let's let's move Elspeth up there. Let's get her up there. Chip, chop, chip. We have access with them, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. And she's close to wanting defensive lines and a military lines for that matter. All right, good. As soon as we start fighting Throt on the field or you know Prague or what have you. Oh, look at Serena. Zarina's moving in. She she filled up that stack very quickly. Oh wow, very quickly. I, she recruited ten units in one turn. She had she had like a ten stack last turn. Gotta love the AI. Oh, Zazel's on the move as well. Okay, yes, I'm glad we're as close as we are. Uh oh, Izzy's trying to make your way in front of the computer. Izzy, baby, don't Izzy. I'm recording right now, baby. Uh oh, she's she's passing in front of the monitor as I speak. She bumps the mic. I'm sorry. Oh, she stepped on the keyboard. Oh, <laughs> okay, she moved on. All right, she's passed oh, through. And All right. Grab that. Could march. Actually, let's march. Yeah, get a bit closer. Might as well. Yeah, okay, good. We're on our way, Katarin. Saving Private Katarin. All right, Helmet. Yeah, let's go help out Carl. Carl probably needs a little help. He's doing well. He's, he's doing very well for himself, for sure, for sure. But he could use a little help. So let's get up there with helmet, big old helmet. Two ball heads in this army, ready to rock. All right, Nuln itself. We could get this building up to tier four, but it's not that imperative. It's good. It's good. But if we're not going very calf heavy, I haven't used these knights yet. Knights of the Black Rose. I mean, they look cool for sure. Aesthetically very cool. Uh, and they seem pretty good on paper. 50 melee defense is actually very good for a heavy cab unit. Um, 78 speed, which is on par with uh, Empire Knights. So they seem like a buffed up anti-infantry Empire Knight uh, with more melee defense. Um, 120 armor is pretty significant too. They, they, they do seem good. And they're able to get this one ability. What is it called again? Let's remind ourselves. Um... Iron Resolve, yes, where they can't die unless uh, they go below 50% of their HP. So that's quite good, and this also lowers their current duration locally um, in this province. Um, okay, oh, provincially, okay, that's actually pretty good too. But 6,400, that's pretty expensive. It's not needed right, right quite yet. Does it add to the garrison at all? Provides the garrison an extra, we go from one knight to two knights. Yeah, you get an extra knight for upgrading this as well. So you have two knights, knights with the Black Rose and the Garrison there. But, you know, not bad. Not bad. Oh, Scrag's back. Oh, boy. 
Nine garrison. Okay. Hmm. So uh, hero's gone. Should we set another ambush here in the forest? 80% success chance. You know what? You know what? I'm going to try it. Let's try this. The land ship would be quicker. Ah. If Scrag were hypothetically to move to Averheim, he would pass through, probably, our circle of influence here, our sphere of influence, I think. So there's a chance we'd proc the ambush. Pretty good chance. I'll see where to go around, but he's, he's likely just going to go in a straight line. So I think he would proc an ambush, probably. It's not guaranteed, of course, but I think there's a good chance. Let's put some money into our trade resources here. Some wine. Empire, we love our wine. Okay. Isaiah's like, I can't see the composition of his army. That's kind of scary. It could be very good. Warriors of Chaos are a very strong faction. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Yeah. Slash is quite scary to fight against. Very fast, very hard hitting. Glass cannons and melee. Um, mm, we'll do our best. That's all we can do. Serena. Oh, I can see her army now. She's actually got a pretty good army. Five Ice Guard. Three of them are Glaive. Nice. Two Griffin Legion. Two Heavy War Sleds. A little Grom. Uh, some front line of two Zar Guard. The Watchmen. Three Kids of Light Warriors. Uh, the Wolf Hearts. A pretty good army, actually. This is not a bad army whatsoever. I, she has a good chance of doing well. She could probably take Prague quite easily. Uh, Chair of Flesh was the army that was garrisoned to Prague. I don't see it there anymore. It's moved. I'm glad we're able to keep an eye on this army and still have visibility over it because, uh, you know, Skaven, they, they're oftentimes quite easily sneak into the shadows and they're hard to, hard to, to find. Uh, and they strike very hard with their chance of ambushing you with their, their regular attack stance, which is quite devastating. Like the Beastmen as well. Uh, so keeping your eye on Skaven is very important. It's, it's important when you're fighting against any faction, of course, but it's, it's extremely important when, when you're fighting against Skaven. Okay. Yeah, we'll set an ambush here. I just, I feel like Scrag's going to try to push towards to Averheim. Um, he could go to the east or west, but in either case, you'd have to cross a river to get there. There's rivers on either side of him to the east and west, so likely he's just going to go straight up to Averheim. Especially there's no one there. The garrison's quite small. He's got a full stack. But boom, Griswold's waiting in the shadows. All right, helmet's there. He's moving up. We're going to hit Wiseman, I think. Uh, and then maybe Krutenwald. It's hard to say where the stupid scaling forces are. Oh, Berthold. Let's get you to scout over this way. Yep. Yeah. I think Althor's fine. We have visibility over it with Helmet right now. So it's more important that we get eyes on scaling's armies. Don't see him or them. Uh, they're... Probably up here in Krudenwald, if I were to guess. Is there a military presence there? Yep, of 20. Boom. They're there. Okay. Noted. Noted. I think that's about it. Let's just save what mo what money we have left in the treasury and move on. Let's do it. All right, Scrag, get in here, buddy. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, God. Um, ambush did not work. Oof. Can we hold? We have a Luminarch here. Oh, they're just going to hit our front line. It's just going to be brutal. Um, ooh, boy. He's got... Uh, the Grenade Launcher can only do so much against such hatred. Uh, Valiant Defeat, High Casualties. We could... Uh, I mean, I, we're not guaranteed to lose this. We have a decent army. I wish we were more experienced. Good news is the enemy army is not experienced either. They're fresh troops as well. Oh boy, we do have a lot of anti-large, but these aren't halberds. I kind of wish they were. Uh, we have a few halberds, a few great swords, some decent pew pew. The mortars aren't going to do a whole lot. They'll be able to decimate the noblars pretty easily. Cannon will be nice. Luminarch, we, we can have both these units just fire at Scrag. Scrag's a fairly big target and he's not that fast, so we can hit him pretty hard. What's the map look like? Okay. It's a hill. Yeah, it's a hill. We have a decent vantage point from up here, for sure. Um. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. All right, let's do it. 
Oh, this is going to be brutal. We're going to try our best here. And these guys have shields. Not shields, but you know what I mean. They're iron fists, effectively a shield. That's not good. Two, two iron guts. Those guys are heavy armored. I wish these guys weren't shielded. I wish these, these gorgers weren't here. <laughs> There's a lot of things I wish. But we have to deal with uh, what it is. Oh, boy. So, yeah, there's a hill. Okay. And the mortars just aren't very effective against ogres. A lot of room to our rear. Uh, but I think we want to stay on the hill, don't we? Ogres are going to hit hard. Their charge is devastating. Can our front line hold is the question. Can we keep our ranged units firing long enough to inflict enough damage that we need? Uh, that's the question here. I just don't know. Let's put our great swords in the center. Let's put a halberd on either side of them. And I want to thicken up our formation. We want to have our center mass hold as long as possible. So by going square formation, that will allow for that. Let's put three of you on this side. Three of you on this side. Okay, crossbows. And in range, sir! Let's get up a little bit. I have a bad feeling about this, guys. Newfless cannons are going to go right over the freaking heads. Elden Hammer! up! Trying to think of ways we could see or uh, cheese this. I just don't know. The Luminar can get some decent shots off for sure. We have a net. We have the net, which will be useful. Um, I'm going to put you like right. If we can net Scrag and get rid of Scrag early on, that would be pretty huge. Well, the cannon kind of in the middle. Elden Hammer! Kitty's going to try to get around our flank. They did have a couple of kitties, don't they? Yeah, they do. Alright, cannons, what can you see? Yeah, it's a pretty good field of fire. Oh, I just have a bad feeling about this. They're not going to take that much damage on the approach. We could have our lord up front. Since he can tank a little bit. back a little bit. This cat's going to get around our flank. I already can feel it. Our front line's just going to buckle. Oh boy, this is going to be brutal, guys. Okay, our net. How much is the range on the net? 100 meters. Maybe I want you in the center. If we can net down Scrag, that would be huge. Because he is a spellcaster. Alright, guard mode. Alright, here we go. Here we go! Scrag's gotta go. Mortars! Good, Scrag's taking some decent damage. Collateral damage on the Iron Guts. And those are were, those were not Iron Guts, unfortunately. It's okay, though. Scrag's already taking a bit of damage, which is good. Let's get up our front line just a bit. Oh, they have a lot of bulls, guys. That's a lot of bulls. Move you guys back. Let's get you up here. We were able to juke that pretty well.
Crossbow's opening up. Cannon still has visibility of Scrag, I think. Hard to say. Ready to use the net. On Scrag. Come on, Luminar. Get in there. No, no, no. Scrag's still taking damage from the cannon, which is good. Luminar, come on. I need you to get some shots in there. There we go. Come on, baby. Yeah. Nope. Come on. We're pulling ahead in the balance of power. Keep firing. Keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. Scrag's going down. Oh my god, we're pulling ahead. I don't know how this is possible. Oh, Gorgers are here. Those Gorgers gotta go. Scrag's falling back. Keep firing. We're pulling ahead in the balance of power. Oh, this is glorious. First Sigmar, baby. Hang in there, helmet. Oh, Grizzled, I mean. Grizzled, not helmet. Victor's in our grasp. The Gorgers are going to fight to the bitter end, of course. They are unbreakable. Keep firing on them. Keep those crossbows firing. I don't want to see anyone not firing. Griswold. Big Grizzly. Those great swords are holding pretty well. Let's bring over the other ones. Those Gorgers are doing a lot of damage. There we go. Finish off Scrag if we can. Oh, Scrag's down. Scrag is down. Let's finish off these riding guys over here. Let's pull you guys over here to thicken up our front line. Get rid of these Gorgers. There we go. Get rid of these chumps. Those Nobblers gotta go. Griswold, hang in there, bud. The second wind of troops are coming in. They've rallied. It's okay. Keep up the fire. Front line is holding victory. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh, formation held. I'm so proud of this army. That was big. I did not think we were going to win this, guys. The cannon just doing tremendous damage to Scrag. 17,000 damage. Putting shots into Scrag's fat gut. Doing great. Oh, close victory. I'll take it. Oh my god. Oh, wow. That was a nail biter. I did not feel confident in that at all. Luminar did great, actually. Only 5,000 damage, but it got some shots into Scrag early on. I think it, it landed at least two volleys, which is a ton of damage. And Scrag was wiped out. Yeah, he made it to the front line, but just barely. By the time he got to the front line, he was nearly dead. Uh, Gorgeous got wiped out, of course. In order to win, we needed to wipe them out. But they got a few kills for sure. One unit did not. Uh, the cats did not try to get around our flanks, which I find surprising. They just hit the center line, which is fine by me. And our crossbows did great. They held. Frontline held. Crossbows were able to keep shooting. Proud of our spearmen. Uh, Griswold held. He didn't take a whole lot of damage. I like it. Griswold, man. Heck yeah. Whoo. That was beautiful. That was a big win. That was a big win. That was Scrag's main army. That was his army. He had rebuilt it just recently. Those were fresh troops, as you noted. Oh. My goodness. All right, guys. I'm going to call it there for this one. Just a nice, quick battle for you. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a nail-biter. My hands are sweaty. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm taking back. Oh, no, there's another army. Oh, this is the same army. Oh, no. They fell back to Grenstall. They're healing up. We need to do the same. We're still in pretty good shape. But, okay, so that's going to be the focus of next episode for sure is getting rid of this army once and for all. We need to heal up and fight them back on the field again. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.